Sarah from Great Days by Sarah and today I have for us a yoga flow called Get Me Zen Quick, which is kind of an oxymoron, but we're going to try it. We don't always have an hour or even 30 or 40 minutes to practice, so in just 10 minutes we're going to get you to a better mental space. Find yourself into a space, it doesn't need to be on a yoga mat, big toes together, heels are going to be apart. We're going to start with figuring out how to get to this Zen spot, but real quick. Here we go. Inhale, brings your arms up. Exhale, hands heart center. Close your eyes if it feels right. If not, keep them open. One more inhale. Hands to heart center. Be aware of your space, but let's focus on you for the next 10 minutes. Last time arms come up, this time they stay up. Grab your right wrist and pull it to the left. Hips kick out to the side, pull a little bit further, and we'll come back up and switch it over. Grab that left wrist, pull it to the right, send your hips out to the side, and back up to center. Reach high, elbows bent, tiny back bend, just getting started, nothing huge. Right back up. Squeeze your thighs, tiny back bend, squeeze your glutes, and right back up. Wide stance, all 10 toes facing forward, arms come to the side, hands come behind your head. We're going to do that same bend, but with our legs wide. Lean it over to the right, maybe peek up to the ceiling, back up to center, start to feel your core engage. Over to the left, peek up. Make sure you're breathing. Really using your entire core to move in and out of these postures. Last one each way. Turn and face one leg. Both toes, both sets of feet are facing the same direction. We're going to sweep down and come up. So if you found really wobbly in that one, kick your back foot a little bit more to the side. Sweep down and up. Sweep down, stay down. Maybe hands are on your leg. Maybe hands are on a prop like a water bottle. Maybe your hands are to the floor. Little hamstring opening. Sweep all the way up. We're going right to the other side. Switch your feet. Widen your stance a little bit. Sweep it down and up. A little mobility. On this last one, we sweep down, we stay down. Wherever that means for you. Feeling an opening through the whole back side of this leg. All the way up we come back to center this time our feet turn out and we squat we come down and up nice and slow and up knees are tracking towards your toes as you're down last one we stay down hands come behind our head we find our tilt maybe elbow reaches thigh maybe not your chest open the entire time. Excellent. One more each way. Press up strong. Widen your stance. Turn one foot out. We're going to come into a side angle. Pressing on your knee. Trying to find this 90 degree bend through your front leg. Then strong straight leg to the back. We make ourselves in to the longest angle possible. Don't switch down into your L or into your shoulder. Press up so your spine stays long. We hold here just for the first time. Our legs stay the same. We come up. 
boom, we come back. Only the upper body is changing. One more here. And we switch it over other side. Flip flop those feet. Find a deep bend through your knee. Aim for 90. Rest your forearm, straight and strong through your back leg. Then find that angle. Breathe. Remember your only focus for a few minutes here is you. Keep your legs strong. The legs don't move. Just my upper body. Boom. Put it back. Take it straight. So strong. Last one here. Stand it up. Going back to your squats. Wiggle in your feet. This time we hold. We're here. Just in a goddess squat. Hands near your chest. Make it a little bit harder. Come up on your toes. Feel the shake. We're only here one time. Breathe for three, two, and one. Come down all the way onto your mat. Coming into a chaturanga. And this looks like full chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. The modification from your knees. It's elbows still are close, all the way down. Find your cobra with or without hands, press it back, downward facing dog. We have three, let's go, inhale forward, exhale low, inhale high, whatever that means for you, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale low, inhale forward, exhale back. One more, you got this, inhale forward, Exhale low, inhale high, exhale back. Drop down to your forearms. You can keep your arms in the shape of an 11 or interlace your fingers, pinky side down. Walk your feet in a little bit. We're into dolphin push-ups. Hips start high, hips go low. Chin is driving past your pinky. We only have five. Go at your own pace. Just make sure you're breathing. On your fifth one, you hold for five, four, three, two, all the way down into the mat. Lift your arms out straight, feet out straight, gaze is down, all the way up and down all the way up and down last one up we hold you can hold still or flutter your choice for five four three two one press it back child's pose hips go low arms reach long big breath in big exhale out On your next inhale, come up as gracefully as you can. Flip it over onto your back for figure four. Left leg plants down, right leg comes over. Maybe this is all you need. Press your right leg away. If you'd like a little bit more, lift your left leg towards you. Third and final, add on. Straighten out your left leg. Keeping a strong flex through your right foot protecting your knee. Breathe. Try to slow your heart rate down as much as you can. And switch it over. Other side. Right leg plants. Left leg crosses. Start here. Press it away. Enjoy that stretch. Maybe that's good. Second step. Pull in your right leg, keeping a strong flex through your left, and then adding on the hamstring stretch if it feels to you today. We 
release it, hug everything in, squeeze, 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 send it long, Shavasana, instant zen. Try to relax your body, relax your feet, relax your mind just for the next 10 seconds. It's just you, just in this space, and you squeezed in a little time just for yourself. Congratulations. You're more than welcome to stay here. If you're ready to move on, roll on to one side, come up to a seat with your eyes closed if possible. If not, no worries. We'll take one last deep breath together. You can stay in Shavasana and do this breath too. Inhale, arms come up, around, together at the top. Hands come heart center. Thumbs come to that space in between your eyebrows. We all say namaste. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for taking 10 minutes for you today. Go have a great day.